everyone, it's Jessica Russell. Today I want to share with you five tips on getting your offer accepted in this crazy seller's market that we are in right now with low inventory and high buyer demand, we are seeing a lot of multiple offer situations and it is making it difficult for buyers to get under contract. So I have five tips to share with you that can help you to beat out the other competition. Number one is to be quick and aggressive. You need to get out and see that home immediately. If you wait four or five days a week, first of all, the house may not even be available anymore, but the the buyers that come out day one and write strong, aggressive offers and get those submitted first day, the sellers see how much you want that home and how aggressive you are. And they know that you'll be quick to get your inspections done, to meet your deadlines. You aren't going to be taking your time as you go through this process. So it just puts that good first impression out there for you. Number two is to, well, Sellers, what they care about is the bottom line. That's that's one of the most important things is to get the most money that they can when they close on the house. So being strong with your offer is great, of course, but there, there can always be a worry for sellers if you offer, especially going over list price, that what if it doesn't appraise? Is there going to be a way for the buyer to get out of this contract? Is it going to waste our time? So I have found that offering to pay some of the fees that a seller typically would pay is actually a better way than putting that onto the price of the home. Now you can do this with offering to pay things like the HOA transfer fees, uh, pay for the home warranty yourself instead of asking the seller to pay. You can offer to pay the title policy. Speak to your agent about this and they can review what these fees are. But if you offer to pay a set fee, that's guaranteed money for that seller that they don't have to worry that it's going to be affected by an appraisal. Number three is to offer the best terms. And this is terms in the contract that aren't monetary. Things like deadlines. If you offer to have a very short inspection period or a shorter finance contingency, uh, no contingency to sell another home. These things, it doesn't cost you any money, but you are offering more favorable terms that will make your offer stronger and more aggressive. Uh, also, one thing I see a lot is that sellers love to have a lease back, and this is for them to stay in the home after closing. It can be a couple of days, sometimes it's a couple of weeks, and the details of that, your agent can walk you through that, but that gives a lot of comfort to a seller. So it's a very common thing that I see that makes a seller feel more confident with an offer because they have a little cushion there on their move and it can help them if they are trying to coordinate the buying of another home with the sale of this home. Number four, show how much you love the home. Tell them, write them a letter and explain how excited you are to be in this home and make this genuine. Don't don't tell them you love the amazing yard when it's a tiny yard and covered in weeds. You don't need to go and lie about it. Um, but be genuine. The thing that you love about the home, the reason you're wanting to buy that home, is something that that current owner loves about the home. And most sellers, even if they are excited for their new home and the new opportunity, there's always some emotion still attached. This is a home that they've lived in, that they've raised their family in. So the seeing how much you love the home and feeling like they're passing this home on to a good family that's going to care for it the way they have is always a, gives them the, the warm and fuzzies. So share that. Tell them how excited you are that it has this huge kitchen because you love to bake or that you love that it's walking distance to the, the park or a close commute for your work. Whatever it is that you love about that home, the neighborhood, it, it doesn't even have to be specifically about the house. You can talk about the neighborhood and how much you love the community. So share those things uh, in a nice little letter to the to the sellers when you submit your offer. And lastly, number five, have a good team in place that is going to represent you. You're not working directly with the sellers. You are, your agent is working with the other agent. And so the, your agent and your lender make a huge impression for you. 
Are they responsive? Are they sending in a complete solid offer? The worst thing that you can do if there's multiple offers on the table is to send in an offer that's incomplete. It's missing things because you don't want the seller to sit there and have questions and decide, well, hey, this one looks good. It's the same price, but it's complete and ready to go. Let's sign this one. So make sure that it's complete and ready and that your agent and lender are always available to answer those calls and questions. Whenever I'm representing sellers and I have multiple offers come in, I call every lender because I want to make sure that not only have they done the application to get the pre-approval letter, but have you already reviewed and verified income and debt? How far into the process are you? Some lenders will take them completely through underwriting before issuing that pre-approval letter, making it a lot more uh, of a strong offer and solid because you're not as worried about financing issues. So if your lender doesn't answer those calls um, or has a bad reputation for not closing on time, those things can really hurt you, even if you have a strong offer. I've actually had clients offers accepted. The agent has told me that the offers, the prices were all very close, so it wasn't about the price, but it came down to that the lender was one that they knew and they trusted. They knew that that lender would get it closed on time. And it was very important for them to make sure that their dates, that they, we didn't have delays. So they selected the offer based on a lender that they knew could achieve that closing date that we needed. So having a good team in place um, is very, very important for you. If you have questions and want to talk about other things that we can do to make sure you get an offer accepted, send me a message and we can chat. Hope you have a great day.